Jay, are you able to kind of take us through, maybe if you can tell us what you said or the, what happened between yourself and the referee to get you, uh, you know, ejected the, from the at game? At the end yeah. of the game there, yeah. You know what, it was, um, I asked uh, about the play on Holloway. Um, and, you know, it, it wasn't uh, not profanity-laced or anything like that. It was a question. Uh, it wasn't well-received when I asked the question. And in the end, i got to be better. I can't take a penalty uh, to put our team down. Um, but it, I didn't think it crossed the line at all. But it was sometimes the way you send a message or, or ask a question, the way it's received might be um, not in the manner you intended to. And in the end, um, you know, I, the reason I asked that question, I thought it was similar to the penalty that McDavid um, took uh, to go down four and three. So I thought it was a fair question. He didn't, and um, in the end, I got to be better. I can't ask that question, apparently. How tough is that when you guys collectively are trying not to show frustration and when something like that yeah, happens? Well, you know, you know what? I, I think frustration would be a profanity laced tirade. That's not what that was. It was a question, it was a, it was a fair question. And, um, you know what? It ended up costing us. I can be better. It cost us because, uh, you know, we were at the tail end of a power play there and it cost us the, um, the ability to try and find one on the power play. It didn't cost us a goal against on the, on the penalty, but certainly I can be better in that situation. I asked you this morning about um, defending and keeping the puck out of your net, and the mm -hmm. first thing you said was we, we need to bury some offensively first. Mm -hmm. Is that what the first 11 minutes felt like when you're out shooting them 19-2 to two and you only get one goal at that point? Yeah, I thought we did a lot of good things. We came out and asserted the way we wanted to play. Um, you know, I think their first goal we shot in our own net, uh, which is never fun. Uh, second goal we can be better on. Um, you know, but I, I like the, the fight in our team. I thought our team um, competed hard. We found a way to make it 3-2. Um, you know, we gave one up on the fourth one that, you know, we didn't love come out of the first shift and in the third period there was a disallowed goal that we thought was was a fair goal uh, you know apparently there was conclusive evidence to overturn it and um, you know it didn't go our way after that Jay from the time it turned 2-1 yeah your team wasn't the same team as it was before uh, are you getting the goaltending you need is your team sagging here because you're not getting that goal well I think uh, you've heard me say this a million times um, our goaltenders wear the same jerseys as the rest of the team. Is there moments that our goaltenders can be better? Yeah, there are. Is there moments that our team or individual players at different positions can be better? Yeah. Uh, the nature of that position is that um, the nature of that position is that you're the last line. So if the mistake is made, it ends up in the net. If you're a forward, you make a mistake. It's usually away from the net. There's other people that can help cover. Um, it's a stark contrast. Demko's holding them in through yep. 19 shots. Your guys on four shots. There's two goals. Yep. That's got to be what's killing you, know? Well, you know, we didn't like looking up and and seeing the the score. You know, in a period that we felt that way. But sometimes that happens. You can't script perfect hockey games. Sometimes another team's goaltender stands on their head, and you give up a few mistakes, and it ends up in the back of the net. Whether that's a goaltender or a player. Um, <laughs> It's not fun, uh, but we can collectively be better. And if I know that, you know, I understand the nature of your question. The 4 2 goal, um, you guys are in a tight 3 2 hockey game. You're on the road, you fought back, it's 3 2. Yep. Bouchard makes a pinch, and then he doesn't hustle back, and his guy scores, and he doesn't miss a shift. You use the word accountability a lot. Is there enough accountability for that player in that moment? Well, Accountability in in household. You mean in he piping them in? Really yeah, important goal. Yeah. And he didn't miss a shift. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Well, you know where we're at. I would say, um, you know, we had 60 men, and um, you know, can he be better on that play? Yeah, he can. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dress that one up uh, in any way. In fact, if you, you know, one thing you look at how Drysaddle backtracked to put his head down. He's on the faceoff dot, and he came. Uh, back with reckless abandon, um, you know, that's the type of effort that we're looking for in that type of situation. Can ever, Evan be better in that? Yeah, he can. But when you're down, when you're down, 
and your uh, top point producing D-man is part of helping you get back into a situation. Are there times for accountability? Sure there are. Is there times for um, you know trying to find a way to come back in that game? Yeah, there are too. And so you learn from your mistakes and uh, in the end we can be better on that one. I was in the room, so I, I didn't even see it. I thought we could, what I saw on television, um, you know, I thought we could have handled that play a lot better. You know, I thought they went cross ice at the blue line. You know, it was something we talked about, and we can handle that situation better. Um, in the end, we didn't find our result tonight.